Steve Hansen here with TheJanitorialStore.com where we help businesses start, grow, and scale their cleaning companies. Say, you know, uh, I had a discussion uh, today with a, with a person, a uh, cleaning business owner, and uh, one, of these, uh, one of the questions that they had asked me was, is uh, where do cleaning companies lose the most money? So my, uh, my answer to that was that they lose it on the operations side. And it all pertains to training their employees. So it's, it's uh, from uh, uh, managers, supervisors, lead people, and right to the front line. Uh, when you think about it, and I, I talk to uh, many, many cleaning companies every month, and um, when I talk to them, you know, I often talk about training. And, uh, you know, I asked them, well, you know, can you tell me a little bit about your training process? Uh, many of them uh, have a very minimal training process, uh, let alone they bring on a, a new employee, a new hire, uh, and they spend as, as minimal time as possible getting them onboarded, trained, and so on and so forth to get them out in the field. Uh, and that's really where they're making their mistake. Um, I had a couple of companies that actually just tell me, well, we, we show them a cleaning, you know, we show them a training video and, uh, and, and that's about it. Um, you know, so that's, that's really not the way that you want to train uh, your employees because that's costing you money. The whole reason we're training uh, everybody, every level in our business is because we want everybody to be the most efficient at what they do. And if we don't bother training them, just imagine the money you're wasting. Uh, so think about this, that uh, we're not taking somebody, through, a, a new employee, a frontline cleaner, a new, a new employee. Uh, we just hired them uh, and we're going to take them through the orientation process. And, uh, you know, we actually take our time during that orientation process. We get our paperwork uh, to, done and off to the side. We actually take the time to, to start our general cleaning processes with them so they fully understand, you know, how the system works what processes we use as we're cleaning, what uh, supplies we use, and why we use the certain procedures we do. And it's all to be the most efficient cleaning company. So we take the time we do that. And then we also follow up uh, with that. We start doing our safety training. So those are one of the th first things that we actually do. We take the time and we give them uh, full training on general cleaning and, uh, and uh, safety training. So it doesn't end there. Uh, now that when, they, when they're our first day on the job, they're actually going to start uh, the additional hands-on training. From there, we're going to go ahead and uh, have the person uh, follow uh, or shadow, shadow the instructor uh, as the instructor is uh, going through the process of actually cleaning, let's say, a restroom. So they'll go through and they'll clean the restroom, and as they're cleaning this restroom, they're explaining to the, to the new trainee exactly what they're doing and why they're doing it. So they go through the entire process, and now when they go to the next bathroom, uh, they, actually, they actually let the, uh, the new employee clean it. Now, as the employee is cleaning that, they're asking them questions. You know, why are you using that solution? Why are you using that color-coded cloth? Uh, why, are you, why are you going in that direction? Uh, and they're really trying to instill uh, that they remember the whole process. Uh, and you do that through the entire process of cleaning restrooms, vacuuming, dusting, and uh, dumping trash and, 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 and the entire uh, general cleaning process. So generally what you'll do is uh, each day you train a different, uh, different area. And so on the first day we're going to train restrooms. The second day we're going to do restrooms and we're going to implement uh, trashing to that. And then the next day we'll, implement, we'll do uh, restrooms and trashing and we'll, implement the, the, we'll incorporate the dusting into the training. So we keep on adding to it to, until they uh, completely have... Uh, uh, completed all the steps and by the time they do that which is typically uh, you know within a five day period of time uh, they're ready to probably go ahead and clean that facility themselves or that area of the building themselves so we let them do that but then we also follow up with them multiple times throughout the shift to make sure that everything's going well uh, see if they've got any questions or if they're having any any issues uh, uh, with with the process but that's what you need to do you have to you have to spend time with your training and invest it in your people. Because then again, if you don't, uh, they're not going to be as efficient cleaners. And when they're not efficient, that means it's taking them longer to, to clean. It's costing you money. 
Um, you know, and uh, a lot of other things happen besides when you don't train, accidents happen because the person hasn't been trained properly. Uh, when accidents happen, that means that it, it affects everything else. Uh, you know, your, your um, workman's comp rating uh, and so on and so forth. So it just adds to the, the additional cost. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind when you start asking yourself, you know, where's the, where do I waste the most money or where do I lose the most money in my business? And chances are you're going to find it's not in the office, you know, but you will find it's in the operations, uh, field operations, uh, with your cleaning teams. Uh, so tighten up your cleaning programs and uh, make sure that people are getting trained properly and uh, that they become the, the most uh, efficient and well-educated cleaners uh, in town. Because, you know, the golden rule is really that, is that the, the most efficient cleaning company wins. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a true fact. So uh, keep that in mind. Just think of what not training people is costing you. Uh, it's a huge number. So that's about it for today. So uh, hopefully you, you got something from this and you can uh, implement it into your own business. Uh, please uh, share the video. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to, the, to our uh, channel. See you next time.